as you can see, I'm going to improvise because with all this technology, demonic uh, technology, they're not reproducing appropriately, so the images do not really coincide. So the next slide, please. It's that afternoon in the house in Chihuahua, and I can still see you sitting, reading, or if it's in the morning, in front of the canvas that is resting on the easel. You are supporting yourself on time. That walking stick that helps you not stain what you have already painted. It was a dark wooden color decorated by the use with some stains of paint. Carefully portraying the lines of your dramatic figures that sustain the beings in this painting. These are the skeletons that sustain the figures in the different planes of the perspective. And there you can see one of the paintings. And there's, you can see the easel on the left-hand side, no, the right-hand side, my right-hand side, <laughs> perhaps your left-hand side. Well, anyway, next one. There's a whole mathematics of the image, as you can see in this painting, how your narrations of shapes are generated. You inhabit different planes with those enigmatic mathematics. Perhaps I can say that every painting constitutes a whole po collection of masks that you put on in order to interpret the creatures within that silent world of daydreaming. In the face of the war experiences and your unfortunate fate, you find a pathway that leads to that place where you can heal, although now I think is it actually possible to refer to those healing processes, or was it actually a whole universe that step by step you learned to inhabit in order to thus be able to be with your own self? In your paintings, in your sculptures and writings, ritual games unfold, i.e. those games that unfold an essence of the myth. But is it a personal mythology by any chance, creative with the material of remembrances of daydreaming and visions from images that interrupt the indifferent galloping of everyday life? That's just to appreciate. Me parece, Whitney, que tú me enviaste algunas de esas imágenes, ¿no es así? Here, these are some images that, fortunately, Whitney was kind enough to send me. And you can uh, see them. Glance. I was always impressed by the way in which you created your glance of an artist through a deep observation. You invent your chromatic eye, your constructive eye, your visionary eye, an ability that seems to be disappearing from current painting because now it only seems it's only the intellectual eye that seems to have value, the art of the message. Although these are all the tools that you made use of to journey through the inner worlds. However, as far as a testimony of your visionary eye and the narrative material, I come to the encounter of a good example of the stone door, the scene of the artisan that is conversing with her ivory dolls. Who are you, doll one? I'm a prisoner in my ivory body that in the past used to be flesh. 
artisan. Who are you, Ivory Doll? Doll one. I am Jewish, and I do not repent from anything of what I said in the past, did, or thought in the past. The artisan, do you know your fate? Can you see how it has been written under the earth, under the heaven and on the earth? First of all, I need to be reborn to find my sister, Fire, who is also a ram, a woman, and a pagan as well. Well, here we see the prisoner in the ivory body. That's the way I imagine it, actually. And that's the way that Leonora created it. I must be reborn to find my sister. That's the other side of this sculpture. I am Jewish, and I do not repent from anything that I might have said, done, or thought in the past. I must be reborn in order to find my sister, Fire, who is also a ram, a woman, and a pagan. This fragment leads me to this ritual game, since the previous uh, ritual takes place in a magical ritual scenario between the artisan and the way in which she converses with her dolls. Let's say that a prophetical voice has awakened. The characters are articulated to each other with visionary material, which gives us access to a scenario of altered perceptions, and it is here that we can come across the treasure of inner life.